All right, well, I made it through this box, and certainly not what I would call <coughs> decent cards, uh, mostly commons, but found, got some more of these, uh, what is this, like 88, 89 hockey. Again, I don't know if I got anybody too, too good in here. I'm, you know, the equivalent of the junk wax, I suppose, for hockey, but um, so I'll continue to look through those, just put those aside. I uh, got some more. 81, 80, and then 87 uh, football. So, again, nobody, no big names, but uh, again, enough to get the starter set going. So, I'm almost up to, I don't know how much, probably even split between the two. So, probably about 25, 30 each. Um, then, what was interesting was. Uh, had these Olympic cards, so this Greatest Olympians, but looks like it's from 1980, or 83 anyway, so uh, didn't have anybody of recent, so these are all like from 80 and before uh, so I don't know, I was trying to look to see if I knew, recognized any of the Olympians and I'm sure some of them were pretty popular back in the day, but none that I uh, noted, or Recognized right off the bat, but uh, so who knows? Maybe there'll be more. Oh, Mike and Druzy, all right. So everybody knows him from the Dream Team. Uh, so, 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 some interesting. So that's actually probably the most interesting card. I call it in Druzy or Druzy owned or whatever, or Ruzy owned. Um, in any case, got some more vintage cards to kind of break out into the baseball lot uh, again some 83s more commons than anything nothing too crazy uh, I got some junk wax uh, Hall of Famers and stars some are pretty roughed up this is uh, uh, his um, from 81 is uh, I guess his pre pro card if you will you got Ken Kemeniti I only pulled this one aside because it's uh, Joe DiMaggio and then Warren Spahn. So if it was a big name, I pulled him aside. I got Jose Uribe in my uh, ability a player a lot for him. Ken Kidman did a rookie card. Uh, another Warren Spahn card. Puckett, Reigns, Galarraga. And then I had never seen this before. This is So this is the Japanese baseball. So the 1979 Japanese baseball. But it's just funny that there's three of him. Three Dave Hilton cards in this box. Not that there's anything special, but... Never seen the card before, and then all of a sudden now getting uh, three of them. So, and then you got the 1951 World Series Yankees. And then I'm just putting aside some of the 87 tops, uh, putting those aside for a lot that I'm putting together. So, overall, yeah, again, not too exciting. Um, it was pretty, I haven't really, I mean, some low key players so far. So, not having the best of luck with uh, this group of cards. So let's keep going through the boxes. I'm saving the best for last, of course. All right, so this one promises to be a little more interesting here. And I did see this, this box in the pictures, so it kind of drew my interest a little bit. Uh, so you got some, I think this is gonna be mostly football cards, but you got, to, you got Jim Harbaugh, who just won the uh, Michigan. They just won the championship, this, the College Bowl championship. And you got Tony Banks from the Rams. Uh, so you got these, their brass coins here or whatever these are. Uh, I don't know what year this would be. Probably early 90s from my best guess. And you got this card, which is a serial number card for Steve Young. So one of the first ones that you get in the early 90s, so 95. So 218 out of 1,250. But an oblong card, right? So definitely very, uh, uh, would be tough to get graded if you did get it graded. I see some scratches, but I don't know if it's just on the plastic or if it's just uh, on the card itself, but an interesting card nonetheless. Not, probably nothing too valuable, but certainly better than the cards I've been getting. Uh, what else we got? We got another coin card in here, the Pinnacle Go Gold Team card with it, uh, Cordell Stewart. 
you got an Emmett Smith. Uh, what is this? Some sort of 1997 Player's Edge. So, just trying to see if it was an insert of some sort, but I don't think it is. Then you got uh, another Emmett Smith complete. Yeah, so three C. So this is an insert. So this is a Pinnacle '98. So got to be close to his retirement, I think, at this point. Then you got Terrell Davis, Pinnacle. Uh, I don't see the type of card this is. So, but it is a insert nonetheless. Sort of a refractorish insert. Same thing here with the Matrix. Steve Young again, another insert type card, a, a refractor, if you will. Um, sort of a refractor before there were refractors, I guess. Uh, and Rodney Hampton, there you go, top's finest. This is back, someone probably put this up when uh, when top's finest was, it used to be one of the best products you can buy back in the mid nineties. Like you buy a pack of that, it was five, six bucks a pack and that was pretty expensive at the time. Uh, Thurman Thomas, rookie card here for him. So, pretty nice. Hall of Fame running back. So, let's see what we got here. Are we going to have... Alright, so this is going to be mostly football. And it looks like it's going to be late 90s football. Um, so, we're going to have some interesting inserts, but you can... Here they're kind of stuck together. Oh, there's Steve Young. But it's gonna take me forever to go through each one and <laughs> unstick them. Uh try and get some make sure we don't have any paper loss in here. Oh, some more Steve Young. So this would be good. It looks like alright. Looks like Steve Young is well represented. Um so maybe I can put together a player lot for him. So again, let me pause this video and go through it and see if I can kind of put together some of the highlights here, what I go through, but yeah, it's definitely gonna to be tough to go through and unstick these cards. Actually, I wonder real quick. So this is the same thing. This was this was labeled the same thing, uh, football cards. So let's just see what's in here real quick. All right, so we got two packs of 1990s score football. Who doesn't love that? Absolutely nobody in that one. At least like with 1990 score baseball, I could try to get like the Bo Jackson card. Oh, maybe I can try and get no the Bo Jackson football one. I think is in the update series. So yeah, Tony Dorsett, Jonathan Ogden, and Rashim Salam, and Dawson Isaac Bruce, and then some other penny sleeves cards up here. If I can get them out, I can't get them. Kind of slippery. So, Kerry Collins. Oh, Jerry Rice. All right. So, we got, you get some good ones sleeved up, and then you get some not so good ones sleeved up. But then JJ Stokes on the back. So, all right. I'll try and go through those. And then, but these ones look a little older. Yeah, those are 87s over there. So, should have some vintage ones there. So, I'll pause the video, go through it, and then once I'm done, I'll let you know what I find. All right, so these two boxes proved to be a little bit more fruitful, if you will, um, as far as <laughs> decent cards go. So we already looked at uh, some of these when I first opened the box. Um, but there were some other, I guess, if you want to call them serial numbered insert cards from the early 2000s. Uh, Precious Metals card, um, even though it's Niall Diggs, but still... Pretty cool to get a Precious Metals. You don't get those too often. Uh, and then all of these cards were serial numbered on the on the side here. So I don't know if there was, you know, I don't know what they're out of. Um, oh, this one's out of 2,500. So it's, it's just interesting that, like, these are kind of the first serial numbered cards. Um, and there's just a lot of them. These were just kind of the lower end uh, stars of it all. But the other thing that actually was, this is actually probably the most interesting, uh, let me get them all together, where, okay, were these Sports Illustrated for kids, uh, I guess it was like an ode to the Super Bowl, 
And this must have been early 2010, maybe 2015-ish. I don't know. I don't see like a date on the back of the cards to say when these were issued. But they, you know, they have all the Super Bowl, I think they're Super Bowl MVPs, I guess, uh, from previous Super Bowls. And the most interesting one, I think, is the Tom Brady one. Uh, so I actually think, I'm going to look this one, I haven't had a chance to look it up yet, but I think this card actually may be the most valuable, if anything, um, as far as, uh, you know, having these cards just randomly inserted in here. But uh, I've certainly in the past, I've, I've done pretty well with Sports Illustrated for Kids cards, so uh, I'll be interested to see if these have any value. And then, again, more uh, middle-of-the-road inserts, with either serial numbers or some sort of refractor. And then the same goes for these as well, just kind of uh, a pile of lesser names, more common. But again, these also had, you know, these were serial numbered out of 2,500. So uh, pretty interesting that, you know, Edge 1995 was, it was kind of on the, and this one actually numbered the cards themselves. So there's, there's 26,000 of these, right, or more. So it's, Pretty interesting that they uh, they kind of started this whole serial number thing, but uh, I don't know how well it took on, but uh, certainly they were kind of the pioneers of it. But that's that. That's these ones. Then there were these uh, <laughs> this random ones. It said two Cedric Maxwell cards, but they you can, I don't know if you see them, but they got like pen scribble. They both have like the exact same pen scribble. So I, it's almost like it's almost as if is trying to copy his autograph, right? So it's not like it's, it's not like it's uh, just marked. It's like marked in the same way. So it looks like either these were signed, <coughs> excuse me, or someone tried to facsimile the signature, right? And just copied it and they, they were just trying it out on different cards. So not sure what the deal is with that. And then you got this uh, one was in there. Uh, you got Scott Rowland and Nomar Garcia Parra on the same card. It's cool. And then these just random uh, inserts for basketball. Uh, the other pile here is anything. Uh, there's 1987 Tops football. Uh, but then there's the 80s, 81. But then there's also these uh, late 70s cards. Uh, 76. There's a bunch of 76 Tops. I think 77. Let's see. This is 81. Uh, these are all 87, of course. And then you got like 80, what's this, 84? Yep, 84. That should be the 82. And here's more 76. Right, here's another 76. So some late 70s cards to through, so basically 76 through 87, just a whole slew of those. I took out all the good stars. Um, so these are mostly just the common players at this point. Uh, Louis Lips, on the other hand, he's, he was a good receiver. But you get the gist. So that would be good to break off into uh, subsets there. And then this pile here, a uh, pretty significant pile. And this is all, these would be all Hall of Famers and, and stars um, from the football. So a lot of Steve Young, a lot of Jerry Rice, a lot of Emmett Smith. Um, but there's also a handful of like Dan Marino, Troy Aikman in here, Marshall Falk rookies all over the place, Brett Favre, Zach Thomas, right? So... Here you got Reggie White, Terrell Davis, more Marshall Falk, Irving Fryer, Barry Sanders, Ken Norton Jr. So yeah, you got a Jerry Rice here. So as you can see, there was a you know Warren Sapp. So anybody who either made the Hall of Fame or was definitely a star player when they were playing, I kind of put aside here. So that what I'm gonna do is make player lots uh, for these guys. So. But you can see the same, you see the same names coming over and over again, except oh, Marty Tumor. Here's a Tiki Barber rookie card. Steve Young. You got Dan Marino, 87 card. And then you had some inserts too. There's actually a couple of John Elway, just like random inserts. Uh, so that, that was pretty cool, especially if you're an Elway fan. You got Michael Strahan, Ray Lewis. But it was also tough too, because a lot of these were stuck together. So there is, on some of them, there is some paper loss. Not a lot. If there was a lot of paper loss, I just put it aside and, and threw it with the comments because there was no coming back from it. There's Eric Dickerson. 
Herman Moore, Terrell Davis again. A lot of Jerome Bettises too. I got a ton of Jerome Bettis in here. So, so there you go. You get the gist of it, right? You, <coughs> Corey Dillon, everything else. So I'm trying not to cough while I'm talking. Tony Gonzalez. Here's another like little random in insert for John Elway. You got Eddie George, rookie card. Marcus Allen, Herschel Walker, 1,000-yard club. More Terrell Owens. So, so uh, and Mike Babel, rookie, had a couple of his. But I like it. I mean, this was, this was definitely more worthwhile as far as getting some names, getting some players, uh, and things like that. So these two boxes yeah. proved a little more fruitful than than the first baseball boxes, that's for sure, right? I don't know if there's any, there wasn't anything overly significant though. It wasn't like, I was like, oh man, I got a Peyton Manning rookie card in here. Uh, certainly some, you know, like I said, a lot of stars, you get, you get, get on the bus, <laughs> Jerome Bettis, um, but no like big rookie cards. This one actually was a, the most interesting one. It's a little banged up though. I think you see the corners are all worn out. It was an Odell Beckham jersey card. So that was pretty interesting. But it's the condition is really worn. But all right, so that is that pile. No need to go through the rest of those cards. But I got a couple hundred cards of those. So it'll be nice. I'll be able to make some player lots and everything else. So there is one more box to go through out of this whole collection. Um, and that is, let's make some room. Now this one, I, I saved for last because at least on the surface, it looked like these cards were going to be the better cards. Um, so right off the bat, you get a Rafael Palmeira, Juan Gonzalez. Uh, looks like bat card. I'll take the game used bat from them. I don't know what year this would be. 2002. So it must have been when they were teammates there. So actually, they were not. They were both on the Rangers, but I guess not at the same time. He was on the Rangers. He's on the uh, Indians. But the power tools duo so that was pretty interesting uh you got some it's a 30 dollar card <laughs> bubba frank's genuine genuine coverage so again as this is like the early 2000s when these jersey cards were first coming out so they were very very popular obviously um when they were first issued but then by now everyone does them so they, they kind of become a dime a dozen um, especially Frank Sanders here, right? San, Sano, right? It was 15 bucks at one point, but certainly not now. Uh, you got Josh Beckett when he was on the Marlins. Uh, I think he won the World Series with them, for the, and then he went over to the Red Sox. But game used jersey for him. Uh, Richie Sexton, who was good in his own right, uh, studio jersey card. Uh, had a lot of good years with the, the Brewers there. Just one of those names that kind of just didn't pan through over time. Uh, this one's pretty decent here. We got uh, Peyton Manning, Gridiron Kings, uh, Gridiron Cut Collection 2002. So they've got his jersey on there. Uh, they even show you like the jersey they cut up. Serial numbered out of 400. So that's that's pretty good for especially an early 2002 card to be serial numbered that way. A little chipping there though, unfortunately, but pretty good card nonetheless. Maybe not 25 bucks, but, you know, whatever. And he got this $50 card, which is definitely not $50, of uh, John Elway, game-worn jersey. Um, was this one? 2002 as well. So, you know, definitely a few bucks probably, but not not as big as they're saying. And then you got Allen Iverson, legendary floor. So this must be uh, a piece of the floor at the from the 76ers. Uh, floor trading card. This is a authentic piece of basketball floor which Alan Arn played during on the NBA game. Oh, but it doesn't tell you which floor it's on. But he played on that floor at some point. <laughs> he played basketball on it, but who knows from which stadium? So, um, and it was during the season. But nonetheless, it is a 2001 card. So pretty cool. Pretty cool piece of card there. Uh, what else do we have here? You got a 2023 rookie. Oh, Jackson Smith. Uh, I don't know how you say his last name. Um, I don't know. I'm not even going to try it. Not even going to try it. All right, here we got Ken Dorsey. Got an autograph card from Ken Dorsey. Looks like a sticker auto. But I don't think he really panned out the way 
everyone was hoping. Oh, you got this Brett Favre uh, jersey card here in this plastic. What is this? 2002. So, not bad. Get the jersey uh, card going on for him. You get the Juan and Carcian, Juan and Carcian bat card. Uh, and this is also 2001. So getting a lot of, like, this aspect was an um, empty one was uh made it worthwhile obviously these aren't worth the sticker price that's on there uh austin, austin kern's jersey card this one's serial uh serial numbered out of a thousand so certainly um more interesting cards nonetheless and then you get this barry bonds 89 tops you got some nice penny sleeves probably about 25 or 30 sleeves you got all the sticker cards from probably oh, 1991 fleer yep can't go without that. Uh, what else we got? We got a Jamal Mashburn jersey card with air written on the back. Uh, this is, so what year is this? This is, oh, this is 2023. So these are recent. So, oh, CJ Stroud rookie. Nice. Cooper Cup gold card. Okay. I don't think that would be serial numbered. Uh, let's see. Curtis Samuel, Ringo, Eric Dickerson again, Brandon Cooks. Ooh, Lawrence Taylor, a little throwback to him. Uh, Tajay Spears, DK Metcalf, Sutton, Favre, Boza. Who we got here? We got Tyler Higbee, so you get all the Rams and the gold. Um, Demarcus Ware, Musgrave, Joe Thomas, Scatling, Sanders. All right. Ooh. Tank Dell, he had a good season, too, along with C.J. Stroud. The two of them connected pretty well. He got <laughs> Tyreek Hill doing his celebration, his trademark flip. And Clayton Toon, I don't know who you are. All right, let's go with uh, Deontay Foreman, Derek Carr, Jason Kelsey, the king of the tush push. Uh, Ford Wheaton, <coughs> who's this one? Oh, Doug Flutie, driving force. Game-worn jersey for the when he was with the Chargers. So that's another 2002 jersey card. You got Darrell Revis, uh, Kyle Pitts, Lamar Jackson. Uh, you got um, Brown, Troy Brown. Kind of worn out. I don't know why he put that in the thing. This one is serial numbered Signature Series. So this is actually an on-card auto, but I don't think he really ever made it. But it's kind of interesting. Nonetheless, Orioles rookies. You got memorable moments. Hakeem the Dream. Derek Carr, Gold Card. Tillman, James Cook, who had a good year. Oh, Bernie Baseball. You got him with the uh, 1999 League Championship MVP. So I wonder, you got the pinstripe in there. That's pretty cool. So, and this is with uh, Tops, and again, out of... From 1999 or oh but it's a 2002 card but, but pretty cool I like that especially as a Yankee fan it's, that's always fun so that is so that again is very different than what I've had so far in all these other um, boxes and then here are some more cards to go through but in yeah, looking at it, it looks like a lot more common, so very similar to what I just went through with the other couple boxes. So I'll pause it, so my dog needs to get out anyway. I'll pause the video uh, and then kind of go through, see what I can pull through, see any you know, Hall of Famers or if there's any last good rookie cards in here, but uh, my hopes are not high. Um, and you get some banged up 89 Bowman. But... All right, so let me do one last box and then we'll recap this video.